Hello my beautiful people, so I know it's been a very long time since I've done one of these um, videos with a voiceover uh, but today's project is probably one of my favourite things that I've ever created so I absolutely just had to talk you guys through the process. So I hope that you sit back, relax and enjoy the next um, 13 minutes or so. <laughs> Here you can see the base that I used. So this is a wooden box that I bought from Home Deco Art, um, a shop based in UK. And first thing that I did was prime all of the spots where I was gonna apply rice paper using white uh, gesso. This one is from Pebeo, I believe. So I had to plan ahead a little bit and figure out where I was gonna put the rice paper. And I applied a couple of coats of white gesso over those spots. Next up is my favorite part and the most special part of this whole project. This particular paper. This is my hand-painted Chex rice paper. So the Chex that you can see on this rice paper were hand-painted by myself. I created this paper in collaboration with Decoupage Queen. I painted them, I scanned them over and I sent them to Decoupage Queen to be made into rice paper that can be purchased uh, from Decoupage Queen and Decoupage Queen retailers. So if any of you have seen any of my projects in the past where I've created checks and I know I've had this comment a lot in my workshops before that uh, a lot of people struggle with hand painting checks. Well, there you go, guys. I created rice paper so that you don't have to struggle with that anymore. So I went ahead and I decoupaged this paper onto all of the spots where I wanted it. So the top, the sides, the back and the uh, front of the drawers. Uh, I used Mod Podge, one layer of Mod Podge on the bottom, rice paper on top and then one layer of Mod Podge again on the top. Next I decorated the base that I was going to put my uh, clock mould onto, so again I had to plan a little bit ahead of the time and for this I used natural harlequin rice paper, again from Decoupage Queen, as you can see I'm just using a leftover piece from this rice paper. Um, it's a very very beautiful paper, a very beautiful pattern and I thought that it looked very good together with the checks without overpowering it but also without kind of clashing too much. Once all of the rice paper was on I applied two or three coats of um, heavy duty wood varnish from Polyvine over the rice papers. Next up it was time to get started with the mold. So, I used uh, resin to cast my molds to make my life easier with painting and all of that stuff. I used Lady Vagabond and Redesign with Prima molds. So I casted them with resin, waited for them to dry obviously, um, sanded the backs down so that they were nice and even and primed them with the same gesso that I used to paint the box, so Pebeo uh, white gesso. Once the primer was dry, it was time to start painting the molds and I just used a combination of all different paints that I had lying around. Um, so all different brands, all different colors. I used red, uh, blue, green, ochre and uh, peacock, so like a teal color to paint the books and the cloth. This particular part of the process took me literally a whole evening. So th that evening when I sat down, it took me about four or five hours to paint all of the molds, but I definitely think that the final result was very much worth it. So first I painted the molds in all different colours, then I applied two coats of the same um, varnish over the top to protect the paint from the next step, um, which is ageing. When the varnish was dry it was time to age the molds, so I used a watered down 
mix of brown and black acrylic paints to apply over the mold and then wipe the excess with a cloth and it creates a very very pretty aged and kind of shaded effect makes them look um, much more natural than just painted After aging, I used liquid metal from Pentart in the color gold to show off the uh, pages of the books. Uh, I thought that adding gold to them just looked really, really pretty. And of course, I also used a tiny little brush to show off the little um, lines on the spines of the books and all of the little details. And again, I think that that made all of the difference. Same again with the clock, I used a tiny brush to apply this gold paint onto all of the little details on the clock and again it did take me a lot of time and I had to be very very patient but I genuinely think that the end result is so worth it. To paint the numerals and the little kitty cat, I first applied uh, black heavy gesso from Finnebar um, just to give it a little bit more grip. And then again, I applied Pentart's liquid metal in gold over the numerals and the kitty cat. Once the molds were painted, it was time to kind of start putting the whole thing together. So, so first I used super glue to glue on the clock onto the base and the books onto the sides of the box. And then before I went ahead and applied the plaque with the clock onto the top of the lid, I used Liberon's special effect wax in black to add a little bit of shadow behind the clock and also on the edges of the uh, plaque itself because it would have been much harder to do it after it was applied onto the top. Then I quickly finished off applying all of the molds with super glue and went ahead and painted everything but the inside of the drawers and the inside of the box uh, using black acrylic paint from Paint Couture. When it was all painted, I went back to black patinating wax from Liberon. Using a little brush, I kind of faded out and created shadows around all of the molds. And I think that in general, it's a very, very good thing to do when you're using uh, molds and you're painting them in different colors to the rest of your thing, because it makes them look less um, just kind of stuck on, like you just created something and then you um, stuck it on it makes them look more natural. And then again, as always, I used um, some more wax and a cloth wrapped around my finger to create like a vignette look around all of the edges of the box.
To decorate the inside of the drawers and the inside of the box itself, I used uh, Rust-Oleum furniture wax. Um, this is dark wax. I use this for furniture painting a lot and I think it's just a really easy, quick and great solution for decorating the insides when you're somebody like me that does not like to spend a lot of time doing it. Now pretty much finished adding some final touches using Finabas Vintage Gold Wax just around the edges to make them pop out a little bit and I also ended up uh, kind of um, creating like a gold um, vignette over some of the black parts just so that again they did not sit there looking so boring and plain, make them look a little bit more interesting. Finally, I added a little handle onto the lid. Um, it's not necessary, but I thought it just added a nice little touch. And of course, a bow. Um, my signature um, thing, I think, <laughs> is adding bows. I really like adding bows to things. And here it is, the finished product. I am so proud of this box. You have no idea. Um, it is genuinely one of my favorite things that I've ever created. Um, this paper is so special to me. Um, you have no idea. I'm like ready to cry right now how special it is and how just I just can't believe um, the fact that I now have my own rice paper and I'm very very grateful to Decoupage Queen for um, letting me be a part of this and giving me the opportunity to create this paper for all of us to use. Um, as always, um, there's going to be a link in the description to my blog post, which is going to have a list of all of the products with um, as many links that I can possibly find. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, leave me a comment, um, all of those good things, and I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Okay, bye!